Hey guys, so before I get into my monthly favorites for October, I met freaking Rob Deerdeck today. Like, how insane is that? I met him, like, met the Rob Deerdeck, like, of ridiculousness and Robin Big and Fantasy Factor. Like, I met him today. So, for one of my classes at school, I had to go to the Intel um, Museum. And I had to do it like on my own time if I didn't go like on the day like that the field trip was assigned or whatever. So me and my friend from class and my boyfriend, we went to Intel or whatever. We're walking and I'm like apologizing to my friend because I'm like, oh my god, I'm so late, blah, blah, blah. And then I look and I'm like, who is that? Like, who is that? And then... They're just kind of looking like, I don't know, whatever. Bella, you're weird. I'm like, is that Rob Deerdeck? And my boyfriend's all, no, he's too short. Like, as if he hangs out with him or something. And then we, like, kind of, like, so he's right here. And, like, we're walking like this. And then there's a corner. So we have to, like, kind of go around him. Or behind him, I mean. And as we're going behind him to go into the museum, I look and I'm like, that's freaking Rob Deerdeck. Like, that's him. So I went up to him and I was like, um... Excuse me, are you Ron Deerdeck? And then he like takes off his sunglasses, he's all, I most certainly am. And I was like, oh my god, you're the coolest person on this planet. Oh my god! And then me and my boyfriend asked him to, um, if he could take a picture with us. And of course he said, yeah. That's my mini story. On to the haul. So my first favorite for this month has to be this sweater. So I wear this sweater, I got it from uh, Forever 21. It's a strawberry shortcake sweater. I wear it like as much as I can. It's just so comfortable. It fits perfectly. It's not too warm, but not too like not going to keep you warm enough. You know what I mean? I got this book at Walgreens. It's called Wit and Wisdom of Women and does not say who it's by. It's a homework uh, gift book or whatever, but I bought it for myself. Gift to myself. And just all the quotes in here are just they're just amazing. Like, they're all from these inspirational women. Like, okay, like, Helen Keller said, Alone we can do so little. Together we can do so much. Eleanor Roosevelt, this is my favorite one. She said, No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. How true, Eleanor. How true. The Heart Outgrows Old Grief by Ella Wheeler Wilcox. And there's funny ones, too. Like, Brain cells come and brain cells go, but fat cells live forever. This is a really good book. I think a lot of girls should have a book maybe similar to this because it's just very inspirational. Like, you can just open it up and whatever page you land on, like, you're just going to love the quote. I always buy these um, uh, Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes, and I figured, you know what, I'll buy this stupid little box. Like, I always see it, and I'm like, should I buy it? But then this time, I just bought it. And then it just inside has like the little towelettes. I don't know if you're supposed to remove them from the bag or just keep them. So I just kept them in the bag. But I like how in the little box it just like makes it easier to like uh, organize and stick somewhere. And okay, so this is not like this only month favorite, but I use this face cream every single day. This is like my holy grail. I cannot go on with a day without this. This makes my face look so great. It works for 24 hours every day. Hydrating formula with extracts of glacial glyce. Um, it's by Kiehl's. It, I got this small one just because it's kind of expensive. This one was $26 just for this little size. This little size is 1.7 fluid ounces. So it's not that much. But it's just white, it's very like, it's very creamy, like almost liquidy. And it just, I just use a little bit on my fingers. I just like rub it on my nose and my forehead, like my T-zone. Because those are my um, dry areas. And then I put like some on my neck or whatever. And then whatever I have left, I like dab it onto my cheeks. I love Bath and Body Works. I think I have a strange addiction for buying things. And this is definitely in like the category of addictions. Because I cannot stop buying the pocket box or pocket back or whatever. Just the mini hand sanitizers. I freaking love them. I have like 20, like literally I have 20 of them because they always have the five for five dollars deal. But these ones are my favorite. So I just got this one, it's the iced gingerbread and it's 
just smells like straight up gingerbread. Like you just baked a freaking gingerbread man. This one is vanilla berry sorbet. It's pretty sweet smelling. I'm trying to get better on my scent. Describing scents kind of thing. This is winter cranberry. Looks like this. It's very sweet, but you can smell the cranberry. I don't know how they get those scents. It's like they just grab the scent and they're like, be in this bottle. This one is Caribbean Escape. It's in a pink bateau, or the gel is pink. It smells like coconut. And then this is fresh picked strawberries. Like, I love strawberries. Also from Bath and Body Works. So I don't like to get the big candles. Like, I wish I could afford them, but they're really expensive, one. And two, if I get the mini ones, then I can like get more and like organize them more and like have more because I'll be able to have more space for them. My number one all-time favorite has to be Marshmallow Fireside. It's not that strong, but you can smell the marshmallow. It's like, you smell it, and then like the after smell, if that's such a thing, the after smell is a marshmallow. This one is spice. It smells like um, straight up cinnamon. And then this one is hot buttered rum. Kind of smells like, uh, oh, butterscotch. Butterscotch, that's what it smells like to me, butterscotch. Also, from Bath and Body Works, my boyfriend got me these slippers. And on the bottom, they, this one says sparkle, and this one says shine. Because I sparkle and I shine. They're super comfortable, they keep my feet warm, and I just don't like walking around the house barefoot. I have a weird thing about that. I got this hat from Tarjay, and it's really like, it's supposed to be like really slouchy, and it is. And it keeps my head like, insanely warm. I can wear this without a jacket when it's like 60 degrees and will never get, okay, if it's like 65 degrees and I will be fine because this thing keeps my head warm. Oh, and it was like, why do I keep snapping? It was like, I think $12, I don't know. And then, oh, hold up. These boots are my all time favorite boots. They are Steve Madden, they have a red zipper backing or whatever. And the inside is super colorful and you can like, you can unzip the back and then fold the, fold them over like that. And then these little clips, you can just like button them on whichever length that you want. But I like to keep them up right now. I don't know why. I just do. But they're so cute. My favorite eyeliner this month has to be the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I got the one in black. And it seriously does not rub off. Like, I can lay down and just, like, put my... I have a tendency to go like this. And, like, if I have winged eyeliner, it's not going to rub off. Like, it stays on all day. Moving on to lip products. This is my all-time favorite and my holy grail. I must have this at all times. My Maybelline Baby Lips. Um, this is the green one. It's peppermint. Um, it just smells like peppermint. My favorite lip colors. They are by Revlon. And I don't know like what kind or whatever they are. They are, the, wait, they are the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. These are the best. Like I'm, right now I'm wearing Black Cherry and it's this one. It's just like a really nice dark plum color. And I swear like it just, it lasts all day and it like, and like even if like it like, hits my boyfriend on the cheek or something, it won't come off. Black Cherry is like my all-time favorite, and it's a cream base. Um, these are all cream bases. Yeah. Um, the next one is Rum Raisin. It's like, it's like a dark pink, I would say. It's really nice. It's not as dark as the one that I have on, but it is kind of like in the same family, I could say. And my last favorite for this month has to be Primrose. Um... It's just a very, like, like, it's just a perfect pink, isn't it? It's just the perfect little pink. Um, it's perfect. Like, I just look at it and I'm just like, perfect. Like, it should be named perfect. Anyways. So that's all for my October favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will promise to do more of these every single month so that you guys, like, know what I'm up to or whatever. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mwah.